He wants to practice jumping. <gasps> what? <laughs> clipping. 15 yard penalty. You're sick. Oh God, are you okay? Yeah. That's right, we picked up yards. Going places that I've never been. We're headed east, Highway 26, Oregon, Mount Hood. We got a direction, just no destination. Yeah. We're following the snow and I think we found it. Oh, show them. It's a hard now, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, absolute now. Check out the beautiful forest. Look at that. She did an awesome job getting up the hill. And it is fun in the snow. Catch y'all. Bye. Skyline Snow Park. One way. Yeah, we're gonna find our little spot. Lots to choose from. <laughs> um, we actually just pulled up into the snow park and this is where we're gonna stay for the night. And uh, one of our viewers slash subscribers during one of our last videos uh, when we were in Bend doing some winter camping, brought up a good point. He said, maybe you could show people how you prepare, what you do, how you turn on the heating system. What does it look like when we've pulled up to a spot and it's, well, right now it's 29 degrees and it's gonna drop a lot more than that later on tonight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn Bad Betty off and we're gonna take you on a tour of what we do real quick. All right, so first thing I do is I go ahead and kick on the coach batteries right there, get my lights on and uh, get some under cab lights going. And I hit the Xantrex, get our inverter up and running. And then because we know it's gonna get cold tonight, I mean, right now it's 29 degrees, I'll go ahead and open up one of the propane tanks, make sure the indicator's on green. Shut that bad boy right there. And get in here, go ahead and turn on our Truma Aqua Go. And then we're going to go back in and get the heat going. And Tallulah, she uh, gets up about this time. <laughs> so, we'll swing over here. And I'll push the button in. Got the little coach with the thermostat. I'll move it to a desired temperature just for kicks. We're going to get her cranked up to about 75. Hit that again. I'm going to move the dial right over to the fan. I can hit auto night, but we'll just go ahead and hold auto. Back, back out. I don't worry about the time right now. I'm not going to reset that. And then the rest starts to happen. That's how so, we get our heat on and our yeah. propane up. And All right. We, uh, we get out here and we decide what we're going to do. Shell and I might spend some time out here, even though it's going to be cold. So she's table? grabbing a couple chairs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, table? we'll bring the table. Because we might even cook outside tonight, even though it's going to be cold. Because we've got our trail fire. It's going to be a good time. All right. We're going to pack some goodies. We'll be right back. One of the other things I forgot to do is move the dial over here. Because we are going to start our hot water here. I like comfort. Some people like eco. It takes a little longer for the water to get to the faucet, but I got plenty of propane today. So, and I also like 120 degrees. So I've set that and the rest is history. So those that have an echo know these garages are pretty fantastic. They're not only heated, they got power, plenty of storage. We kept the trail fire in there. But one of my most recent purchases, just got to show you guys these real quick. Show them those three stacks right there. They don't come with a CA tune. That's something you gotta earn. That's like a badge. But moving right along here. Look at that. We have tools. And this other one, we've got full on recovery gear. We've got first aid kits. We've got a ton of stuff in all three of these. They stack nice. Not using them, they fold away. We've got our snowshoes. We've got our fishing poles. Now we're gonna go over here. Where'd you get those bags? Top secret. Oh, top secret. <laughs> Actually, we're at uh, Costco. Oh. Shell's gonna deploy the awning. Yeah, there we go. Nice. 
We have beautiful skies and stuff, but kind of sets a fun ambiance. There's Tallulah. She loves hanging out. She's 16 as of two days ago. And there we go. You know what I'm thinking for just tonight? We don't typically spin the chairs around. Right. But what do you think about that since we might play some yeah. games? Yeah, yeah. That... Right. So the first thing you do on these units, the Ford Transit, is roll the backrest up as far as you can. Mm -hmm. And then there's a release handle. If you want to look here, it's got a Oops, yellow. Sorry. That's all right. It's got a yellow lever yep. right there. Release. And you're just going to pull it out, like away from the seat. Right. And as you pull it around, you just spin the seat. Ooh, You'll hear cute. it click. Come on in here and check it out. Bingo. You want me to do the driver's side too? Uh, yeah. Same thing. I'll roll the seat forward. Just seat like forward. That. And that's so that it actually clears the door. Right. Right here yellow lever yeah. is pulled forward or out if you will pull it up turn it releases around. the seat and then we'll go ahead and recline it when i come Ooh. there we go very nice oh, let there be heat yes you know actually i don't know maybe we'll cook on this tonight what the heck right yeah let's make the euros on those yeah let's do it all right Got our condiments, doing our euros. Lovely night out here. You don't think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna spice mine up. Be right back. Uh, don't think you're crazy. Toasty. Flatbread. Hey, babe. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Look at that. Delish. On fire. Like that. Come on, babe. On you. It looks like it's going to be a lock game. It looks like you're going to lose. There's no way you're going to get four. 100%. Pokiness, I just won. Where? One, two, three, That's four. That's a no. win. Round two. Shelly goes first. Let's go. I just <laughs> no. Bam. One, two, three, four. Winner. <laughs> oh, I'm so good. <laughs> Why did I just swim again? One, two, That's three, four. Winner! Winner! Who's there? Woo! Winner. There. Who's there? <laughs> Let me knucklehead. Third Yahtzee player. Oh, third Yahtzee. He's kind of kicking my butt. So good morning, everyone. We woke up, we took down our thermal blanket and we took down our Vanish Essential window shades, which actually do have some insulative properties. So the front of the cab, as you see here, that being that area where the seats are, was closed off with the thermal blanket. And obviously you're gonna trap moisture in here, but something pretty cool. <clears throat> We've got ice on the inside of the window from the condensation. But back here, where Bad Betty is, it was nice and toasty. We actually lowered the temperature last night several times because it was so toasty in here. So, not only did the thermal blanket do its job, but I think I need to give some credit and love to the Van Essential window shades. I don't personally mind that it trapped the moisture up there and that it kept everything kind of, for lack of a better word, insulated on this side, this side being where we are. And yes, there's moisture on the window and we'll need to get that dried up and cleaned off. But we'll see what the next round brings. Maybe I got a little idea for that too. It's ready. Good, fresh, French press coffee. We like to keep it fancy and a little gourmet style here. So this is the Trader Joe's Egg Bites. Cozy. Oh, <laughs> you enjoying the snow, Lulu? Your little paws are probably getting cold. Go this way. Good idea. Follow the sun, babe. <laughs> Good 
Look at her. She's doing awesome. Till next time. Skyline Snow Park. That was fun. She's a beauty. There's the top of Mount Hood. this out Cathedral Ridge Winery last night we happened to have an amazing bottle of their wine with our heroes and ironically on our way back out we saw the sign that said let's go check it out so that's what we're doing oh cool look what are those? check this place out Well, here we go. We're just about closing out. And as you saw last night, we enjoyed an amazing bottle of Cathedral Ridge. And the one that we had was the... Necessity Red 2016. Yes. Yeah, so on our way back through, we saw the sign for Cathedral Ridge, stopped on in, had an amazing tasting. Gina was just the best host. Yes. So this time we left with a 2018 uh, Rockstar Reserve. Yes. And so I invite you all to check this place out. Close out our, our day here at Cathedral Ridge Winery. These beautiful deers, vineyards, Bad Betty. I think we're gonna get in here and make some tomato soup before we head home. All right, y'all, so we just left Cathedral Ridge Winery and they have an overflow parking lot for RVs right next door. It's beautiful. We just saw two beautiful deer and we're going to get started. We're going to go with some organic tomato and roasted red pepper soup. This is a Trader Joe's again. It seems to be the theme <laughs> of this trip. We got some Parmesan uh, cheese from Trader Joe's. We got a couple jalapenos, some tomatoes. This thing fired up. Actually, what's pretty nice about this is it does have an ignition. So we'll kind of get that started. So you might be cracking up here. One of the things I forgot was my tongs and all kinds of my stuff because we had taken it in the house to clean some stuff. So this is our gourmet <laughs> knife. And uh, <laughs> we're going to be roasting our pepper right here. Hear those oils. Oh, yeah. So I think that's looking pretty amazing. I'll give it like maybe 30 more seconds. And we're gonna drop her right there in the soup and let her spice that up. You guys haven't noticed there's a theme with me eating. I love spicy stuff, spicy foods, chilies, peppers, you name it, it's on. Matter of fact, if you've got a recommendation for something, drop it in the comments. I've been met a pepper I can't eat, don't love, and won't try. I so you bring any, pepper, oh yeah, think. you bring them, I eat them. You do a pepper challenge. Uh, yeah, well, I did do the pepper You'll challenge. Take it, yeah. and pretty much haven't been beat. Mm -hmm. Ooh, starting to boil? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Get 
put these <laughs> cut down, put them in there. Oh, perfect. All right. Where's our little spoon? I'll grab it for you. Do this. You want it in the, uh, you want it in the soup? Yeah, absolutely. I can taste that now. You can never have too much parm. No, you can't. No, let's put some of that. If you don't mind, throw some of those fresh ones on there for me, too. Tomatoes. Oh, yeah, more. That looks good. Got some veggies. There you go. Even Shell gets down with the spicy. Mm -hmm. Let's bring this on a second. Pico de gallo? Right yeah, Pico de gallo. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. It's good. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's amazing. It's good. The rusted jalapeno meat. Yeah. I like how you added the fresh parmesan. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That nice big cheesy. There it is. Look. Mm -hmm. like, a, like a commercial. Anyways, cheers, y'all. Thanks for joining us. Hit the subscribe button if you can. We hope you enjoyed this video. Again, just wanted to share how we do a real quick overnight slash two night adventure out there in the world. And we'll tell the Chico. I'd like to close out the trip with giving Bad Biddy a nice, well deserved bath. She did as well. You can see she is dirty head to toe. All right. Let's get her done.